thought that the Tasmanian devil was probably originally named because of the extraordinary noise it makes. But it's got some other rather devilish characteristics as well. They're amazingly well set up as scavengers. The jaws are enormous, they've got a wide gape, and they've got very powerful muscles on the jaws and on the neck for tearing almost anything apart. If you look at them here, you can see what I mean. Here we are. Here we are. Grab that. Now, he's so strong that he won't let go, even if he's in midair. And you can see there the muscles of the neck for tearing prey apart and the extraordinarily powerful muscles of the jaw for ripping things open and hanging on like that. He'll keep going like that till he's exhausted, which is more than a dog could do. You can see the claws here aren't really like those of a dog. Superficially they resemble a dog, but they've actually got much longer toes and they stick out to the front. It's said that if a cow goes down in the bush and the devils converge, they can eat every bit of it. And that means cracking and eating bones that are about three inches thick. And they can eat the skull down to the teeth. In fact, some of the convicts who escaped from Port Arthur and took to the bush in Tasmania disappeared. It's thought that they disappeared into the devils. It's often confused with the Tasmanian tiger or thylacine, but that's thought to be extinct now. And so the Tasmanian devil is really the largest remaining marsupial carnivore in Australia.